EIDL grant, the $10,000 EIDL grant. Yes, in January, the EIDL grant under third stimulus, Biden stimulus will reopen. And by reopening, you'll likely get the remainder of your $10,000 grant and the grant that you may never have gotten if you got a loan but never got a grant. Meantime, if you already got a grant, the full $10,000, you can't get an additional grant for the same business. But in this throwback video, I explain how to get the EIDL grant because it's been closed for so many months. Viewers don't understand how to get it. And it's important to understand how to get it now because this coming week, the EIDL grant for the inner city will reopen. One for farmers and agriculture could open shortly thereafter. And then under Biden's stimulus, third stimulus package, the EIDL grant for everyone else is coming to open its doors once again. So enjoy this overnight video about the EIDL grant, the $10,000 EIDL grant, and have a great morning on Overnight's LA Light. EIDL grant money will be coming to you. What will happen to the remainder of that $10,000? And finally, why you need to contact your senator right away. This is a bombshell EIDL grant update for Sunday evening. Hope you are good and safe. This is LOA. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe to this video and drop your comments below. And we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. And please hit that bell bell on the front of this channel so you get alert when a new EIDL grant or loan video or second stimulus check or BOA or all that wonderful stuff or kale salad video goes live on this channel. And shortly we'll be getting to a hundred, wow, EIDL grant questions from yesterday and those three shocking bombshells about the grant money that will now finally be coming to you, questions about the remainder of the $10,000 and what senators are willing to do for you as this saga really unfolds. But let's get to some of your questions right off the bat. Bo B, I was denied because I didn't complete a section of the application. I did my reconsideration and I asked the $10,000 be given to me expedited. I was told about the link six days ago and as of yesterday, the grant is supposedly processing. I'm not gonna explain to you what that means, but I think you do if you've been watching our channel since Thursday and Friday. Uh, here comes the bombshell in about four minutes. Lori Toller, as always, thank you for all this hard work. You help the people on here. Really hate that you're so far from West Virginia. I would love to meet you. You're truly a good and kind person. Oh, and P.S., you also have nice shirts. Well, today's shirt was in honor of Ted Cruz. I'm bringing it a Texas style because he now watches this channel because uh, because of viewers of this channel have been contacting him uh, to step in, step in and intervene and get SBA to comply with the CARES Act. A maximum American, how do I go about asking to increase my loan amount? I've already signed and received my loan. Thank and keep up the good work. Very simply, you call up SBA and ask them to increase your loan amount. The EIDL loan agreement, which I'll drop in the links above, actually has a provision in there you can that they can increase the loan up within the first two years. Call them up and say why you qualify to increase the loan, how you can afford the loan, and what do you need the funds for. And be ready with an amount and be able to just how you can pay that monthly bill and they generally want to write it for you. Robert Benson sitting here stuck in the vortex calling once a week waiting for the email frustrating. So tell me what your vortex date is. Are you a 330? Are you 331? Are you 48? Have you received a grant? Tell me and I'll update you tomorrow uh, Robert. Tara I applied 46 got an email 51 stating my application is being processed. 528 was denied. I'm sending the reconsideration letter. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, stay with me shortly as I drop this bombshell, you need to send the reconsideration letter because it's going to get you the grant money. Uh, Shananda, when I called today, they tell me they couldn't find my number, so I called back and Lay said she couldn't look it up. I did get the grant in early May. Thank you for your awesomeness. 
Um, she said they're having problems getting info about your account. They can find your account, but wait for the loan agreement. It uh, should take two to three weeks after you've seen your grant. It's been relatively recent, but I will call SBA still. HPK Conjures. Thank you, Elliot. I sent an email on Friday. I will wait for a response from SBA. Keep me updated. Danny Fi, awesome job on your channel. Wonderful to hear people share their challenge and success stories. Received a one thousand dollar grant back in April. Great, he got the grant. No word on the loan, but I didn't want it anyway. I would still like more grant money. I'm currently receiving PUA UI from the EDD question mark. I don't know if you're receiving it or if that's a question mark. Uh, if you have PUA questions, drop uh, drop jump onto the PUA video from tonight and drop comments there as well. Carol, uh, the EIDL grant is deducted from the PPB loan. Um, Blah, blah, blah. I get so many questions about PPP loan and the EIDL. I hate the PPP loan. If you have questions about your darn PPP loan, you got to ask that lender who you probably can't get on the phone because they're selling Weeble socks to someone. Leonard Chambers, I received a loan portal yes last Saturday for a loan offer. Congrats. The loan offer says it's still processing, but two days ago I received $3,000 in my account. I never called anyone. Still waiting for the loan. Either way, I got the $3,000 and never called anyone. Good. So you got the grant. Um, call the and. It's uh, you, They're still wait, waiting on accepting the loan offer. Call SBA and say, hey, where's the loan? If you don't want the loan, then you know you can cancel the loan offer. Ricardo Hall, coming to your house to raise your closet. How am I doing today? How's this ensemble doing? Am I, am I meeting the fashion police? Are the fashion police going to arrest me? Angel Davis, good Sunday afternoon, Ellie. I've been watching you for a while and truly have learned a lot. Good. Well, it's true that if you do a reconsideration, there. Okay. Uh, well, here comes the spoiler. Uh, I, I, I'm just going to jump into the spoiler right now. She's saying it literally verbatim. It is true that if you do reconsideration, they will send you a link and it will be a streamlined application. It's as though I thought may, maybe I made a mistake. I emailed a reconsideration. That was Thursday. I did my Thursday. Completed Saturday. Now this morning I got an email. They apologized for the convenience. I should get something later. Uh, interesting. She didn't spoil the entire <laughs> remark, so I got some more to give you. Johnny, you're the man still hanging in there. Applied for EI Gel 330. So it's a 330 Vortex, but received $3,000 on April 5th. Wow, one of my Vortex people came out. Got a denial for a loan on May 25th. Did a reconsideration. Oh, denial for a loan on May 25th. Did a reconsideration. Follow your instructions. Good. Received an email. Couldn't find our identity of our business. Okay, that's an easy one to win. To send them back information. Now we're across our fingers. Oh, and we did request 24900 He's watching this video. He's watching this channel. He's uncollateralized. He doesn't want to be collateralized. We have to check your... We have taken all your advice. Cheers on the progress. Keep up your help. We'll continue to let you know your progress. I'm reaching out to you with a big hug. So, Joni Metcalf, I want to jump in one additional factor. If you are yesterday's EIDL grant video to the end. And I ask everyone who's watching today's video, watch the EIDL grant video from Saturday to the end. I will drop in the link above. It has this, the thumbnail of a mailbox in the corner. You need to listen to Alan's story, not only because it's tear fault, it, it is it is heartwarming and it will inspire you, but also because of what he technically did. And here's another side spoiler. He listened to this channel and understood that people were denied their EIDL loans, which he wanted a loan, uh, and that they were being denied for low credit. So what he did, here comes your advice, what he did is the following. He went to his Experian credit score while his EIDL loan was processing because it was taking forever, and he realized what was wrong and what he could remove and fix to get his credit score up. And he did that, and he says that is why he thinks he got his loan approved. He got $95,000 funded. There you go. Jeannie Farnsworth, I want my grant LLA. I never got a grant at all. Jeannie, watch for this video. I'm about to tell you how you can get your grant money. Randall Alexander, first of all, I want to thank you for all the work you're doing in Light in the Dark and Handsome and Pink. Well, thank you today. It's beige. Uh, now, I forewarn you as a fan, depending on whether you read this or not. Um, boy, it's a lot of detail, and I have read this in private. God bless you, your brother. You're now empowering your followers and get them all. It is owed your positive voice and charismatic good looks. Cheers and semper fidelis. United States Mir Marine Corps credo, which always means faithful. Well, salute to you. Um, thank you for your kind remarks. Really, really inspiring. Sean Lazarus, can I send you a shirt that says in the front, here it comes on the back of Bob Shaw. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yes, you can. John Fogarty, I applied for the grant as the sole proprietor when they open up for the farmers. Do you think they'll open up for normal application? No. 
um, EIDL's gone. But we have done other lending instruments. I'll drop in links above. Above uh, Main Street Lending Program for the Federal Reserve coming. The, the other SBA secret loan available. Local loans, like in Los Angeles, up to $25,000 available. I'll drop in the link above. It was from two days ago. We've, we've covered them a lot, but we're going to go back to the Main Street Lending Program in the next few days. Jason, love your channel. Great resources you provide. Always tune in every day. Thank you, Jason. You're so much, you do so much for the hard work you do. Apply for the EIDL loan on April 6th. Receive a $1,000 grant on May 1st. Later, send me an email of a loan portal. I haven't clicked on it yet. So my question is, is there an expiration on the loan portal offer? Yes, 30 days. And second question, if I decide not to take the loan, do I still get a rest of the grant? Um, yes, um, but you have to watch this video to learn why. Karina, I was denied the grant on the loan according to the SBA. They told me I was unable to look at my business. Um low credit score. They're requesting me to fill out a form C with no explanation why they have to have information I sent them. That is uh, a tale that some SBA officers say. If you call and speak to another person, I guarantee they won't say the same thing. I've heard that in another camera from someone. David Hudson, I got a proof on the EID alone on May 18th, but I haven't received the funds. Um, keep on calling. Yeah, absolutely keep on calling. Aaron Hall, I love your videos. Apply for the loan on May 1st. Received denial of unsatisfactory credit history. Thanks for the videos. I'm sending reconsideration I, and received an email yesterday and said my letter was received. Good. So the next thing you're going to get, if you're doing a reconsideration video, you're watching a reconsideration letter, you're watching this video, you need to send it right away. Once they, you send it, they will send you back a letter saying, thank you, we've gotten it. If they don't send it again, then after they, after they have received it, then within a day or two, they'll start requesting documents from you. If they don't call SBA because it means there's something wrong, they have a whole entire department dedicated to reconsiderations. Uh, Ted, Z, Z, no, TZ was rejected to get a loan I called two, two weeks ago regarding the grant. Now they told me to send this letter. Like I, like you said, I did immediately, haven't received a portal link yet. It's crazy how they bottleneck the shirt. Uh, Elana Diaz, hey, Lila, thank you for continuing to support. How long does it take after, after a, the letter request and reconsideration? Do we get the link? I've not done anything, nothing. Keep you posted. Uh, I'll tell you right in one second. Timothy Ray, signed documents Monday, SBA loan, which is approved. Where is my money? How long does it take to deposit? Uh, so it's about a week after they agree to the loan. If it's been more than a week, I'll, I'll call SBA. Uh, Cheryl, LA, aloha from Hawaii. Thank you for all the updates. I love your personality channel. Appreciate Bombshell. Jeff Hansen, who's uh, supported this channel. Thank you, Jeff. Um, uh, good work is always my friend. All right, so let's get to let's get to the news and the bombshells. Okay, so you're going to get a grant. Number one, you're going to get a grant. If you have not received a grant, you're going to get a grant. Um, let me tell you how and the manner and where it's going to happen. And let me preface it by saying the history behind this news. This news is very new. If you are new to this channel and don't watch it on a daily basis, which you should now start doing, uh, this news came out on Thursday. It was confirmed with um, two viewers. By Friday, it was about half a dozen. By Saturday, it was a dozen. Uh, and they, they, are, they are all being told the same thing from SBA. Hence, it's true. What's going to happen is that all of you are going to get your grant money if you've not received your grant money. So what you need to do is the following. If you have uh, re not received grant money, listen up and get a pen and paper. If you have received an EIDL loan denial, then you need to file reconsideration. After you file the reconsideration, which I just explained to you how to do it, then you need to call SBA and say, I've never received my grant money. I would like to request my grant money. I would also put that in writing. Uh, you can put in the reconsideration letter as well. They need to be formally told that you want to you want your grant money. Once they are teed up and have learned your request for the grant money, they will respond and say, yes, we are going to be sending you a link shortly. And that link will allow you to verify your banking information and verify your identity. And then you will be receiving the grant money. Yes. Um, this is new news. This is news that came out on Thursday. We were the first and we are the only first channel to reveal this shocking change of the goalpost. So everything I told you two weeks earlier is gone because SBA has changed its policy yet again. Two weeks ago, the policy was if you were denied a loan and had never received a grant, you're not getting a grant. Now, if you're denied a loan and request a grant when you do reconsideration, you're getting a grant. So that's that part. Second, if you have 
not received a grant, but you have received a loan, you have been approved for a loan, you need to call SBA right away and say, where's my grant? How am I going to see the grant? And when am I receiving the grant? With the exception of that viewer, which is really, I think, the only viewer in almost three weeks, most viewers have had to pester SBA once they received loan approval to get their grant money. It doesn't inherently come. Um, that is just – so there is that incredible news. No matter what, every viewer of this channel is getting grant money. Okay, so next, the next element, um, you need to contact your senators. On Friday, uh, Corn Fed, a viewer of this channel, reached out to Ted Cruz's office to inform them to start watching this channel, and apparently they responded by saying they are now, his office is now watching the channel. Other viewers on Saturday started contacting Ted Cruz's office, Senator Ted Cruz's office, to inform them of their struggles. One viewer in the comments actually said, should I, I wrote a letter, should I send it? To Ted Cruz. I said, absolutely, you should send it. The issue is really that um, a lot of you have are not in Texas, you're in other states, and so you might have been sending letters to your respective senators, which you should, but you should also sort of create an a flow into the same source, which at the moment I'm going to say is Ted Cruz. Um, there is an element of interest that's coming out of that office as to SBA. Finally, um, the well, not finally yet. As to the funding of the grant money for you, we are really new on this. I mean, this is a Thursday development, and it's late Thursday, so we haven't even had really one business day since this decision by SBA. Why is this changing? <laughs> It might be because you're looking right at it. Um, you're looking right at the at the cause of it. I mean, the viewership of this channel is now at 1.2 million views. We're now at 6,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for those who supported this channel. We have helped people get somewhere between five to 20 million dollars in this channel. But the viewership of this channel has been well spoken. They have spoken to their representatives. If you have not and you are aggrieved, you need to because ultimately, as you know from that video I did about a week ago, uh, where there needs to be a congressional hearing to bring the Honorable Kimberly Butler from SBA into Congress to explain why she digressed from the CARES Act, that needs to happen because that brings me to my final point, the remainder of the $10,000. A lot of you um, are still asking, and I'm going to get to more of the questions right now. You have received the grant money uh, based upon $1,000 per employee, which is some bogus stuff that Kimberly Butler came up with uh, and have not received the remainder of the $10,000. You want that money. You're entitled to that money. It's that type of discussion that viewers are now writing 10 crews and their congressmen. I've seen the letters. You need to contact your congressman. It is not enough for you to contact SBA because they have that script. They're auditioning for Days of Our Lives and Young and the Restless and they're reading that script that says, I'm only giving you $1,000 per employee and that's the rule and then, then they hang up, hang up on you. You need to con con contact your congressman because this, that is the last step, it appears, in this entire strife that we have been through, is getting that remainder of that $10,000. It is not going to be an easy endeavor, I will fully admit. Um, but we all know that the CARES Act said that when the applicant you requested in the streamlined application up to $10,000 and you requested $10,000, then the applicant you is to be paid that money that they requested within three business days. It does not say Kimberly Butler can give you a lesser amount because she just decided to wake up and change the policies of the CARES Act Wednesday morning um, over her cafe latte. It's just like, you know, come on. Uh, so that's the rule. And let's get back to the details. Jeff, thank you for your constant updates. 331 Vortex, wow. Denied 518, wow. Send an email for reconsideration, did not hear anything. I was watching the video, same email, got an autoresponder immediately. I'm contacting the reconsideration team. Absolutely, contact the reconsideration team. If you have, if you've already done your reconsideration and you're now learning about this need to request the grant money, you can send another letter. There's, there's nothing preventing you from sending another letter. Kimberly Butler is not going to, you know, um, come and slap your hand because you send another reconsideration letter. No, you should say, oh, and by the way, I'm entitled to my grant money. Uh, I request a grant money on my application of X and that state. Please send me my grant money as soon as possible. Um, Tom, 
Ehlerson, LA Lake, great info. Stuck in the 330 Vortex. Wow, we go from 331 to 330. A $1,500 offer waiting. Okay, so $1,500. Tom Ellison, which is, is a new name. I guess you're a new viewer. That is an error. If you are a viewer of this channel and you're getting a zero loan offer, a zero dollar loan offer, I mean, ridiculous. A one dollar loan offer, a thousand dollar loan offer, a thirteen hundred dollar loan offer. That's a technical glitch. You're not supposed to be getting a thousand dollar loan offer. Watch one of our videos above in the playlist. It talk. It's in the title. A uh, computer glitch. There's a computer in the in the in the in the thumbnail. It's a computer glitch. You're not supposed to be getting that. You need to call SBA and ask for more money. Uh, Paul Ryan, love the trucker story. That was Alan at the end of yesterday's grant video. It comes in at 20 minutes into the video. Please watch yesterday's grant video to the end. I mean, I want you to watch it because he inspires this entire channel. I'm as well, but here comes the bad news. I'm as well a trucker, Paul Ryan, in the transportation industry, and I'm still hoping to get the grants and the loans after being denied the 331, 330 Vortex. Here we go. This is another viewer, just like yesterday's, that won that $95,000 loan. This viewer has gotten still nothing. Same industry, same struggle. Stay with it, Paul. I'm, we, I'm here for you. Giovanni Nichols uh, and Charles, I applied in March 30th. I haven't heard anything to April 16th. Uh, then the funds had run. I'll replenish. I contacted my senator. I have not received any assistance. I need the funds for my employees and, ha and have been talking of suicide. I need the funds for my employees are having talks of suicide. I need help and I fear that I'll be filing for bankruptcy 23 years of my business. And because of my credit score is 523, I'm going to lose two decades of my life. I did not invest in China. I did not sponsor the coronavirus. Why do I have to pay for it? Um, first of all, death is not an answer. Um, this is the first comment like that. Um, so I'm trying to hold it together after breaking down last night. I'm not going to break down again. Um, uh, whether it's your employees considering suicide or yourself is absolutely not a, a, a solution. I want you to please drop in the comments of this video. Tell me your entire strife. You applied on the 16th. Um, I don't know anything else. Your five, your score is 523. Um, they said that the application was duplicate. I was told I was denied, declined, and I would not be receiving the grant. I applied for reconsideration. I was told my application for reconsideration was denied. Um, Charles, you are entitled to grant money even if you were denied a loan and the reconsideration was denied. You need to write them back and say, I'm entitled to my grant money. Um, this is horrific. Uh, Moreover, you may qualify for PUA, so I want you to watch my PUA videos. Please tell me what happens after you watch this video and you follow and you, and you, and you send them another letter. Um, 4G tomorrow. I applied Friday, June 5th. Was told via email on 6-6 the funds were only being considered if you have an agricultural business. Not true. Um, Rock, well, if, unless you're an agricultural application. Rocky Aquino, I applied 329, received no grant, got a portal invite 429, got approved 520, I'm still waiting to sign. Uh, two weeks waiting from Hawaii, so call SBA, that's good news though. Robert Henson, who supports this channel twice in two days, once again, thank you, and this shirt is fierce, well, thank you, how am I doing tonight? Uh, Muji, wow, LA, shocking news and bombshells hourly, the news is coming from the SBA, seems getting, getting better, it is getting better. I hope everyone gets their full $10,000 grant, I do too. Kevin Lee Hale, I spoke with Tier 2 representative, confirmed my application was assigned to a loan officer in five to seven days, should get a portal all invite for the offer, waiting on my grant to be resent also. Great, Kevin. Pizza God, no news on my negotiations, but I'm making myself paceful. Uh, good. James Brown applied, got a loan, offer 35000 still no grant. I lowered it to 24900 They must be saying, where's this, where's this $24,900 number coming from there everyone so suddenly all these people are calling me up saying twenty four thousand nine hundred. they must be seen that somewhere uh <laughs> thank you for all the great info and entertainment um the actual paragraph of the cares act about the ten thousand dollar grant yes james i want you to know, i want to know if you get the grant money as well keep me updated frank fred rice hey, thank you ella you're the best in reporting you love your straight to the point responses with so much information, I've missed out when the EIDL is coming back for non-agriculture. It's not. Uh, Tonika, 
uh, hey, where, what do you do when they don't see your application, even though you proved to them with the application number? I call them again. You just have a bad person on the phone. They can see it. Renee, I applied months ago for the grant. I did not receive anything. I, do I have to reapply? No. Just do what I told you earlier in this video. Mark Abada, any indication that open the applications for non-agricultural businesses? No. Maureen, uh, love your channel. Contacting my congressman tomorrow. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely, Mark Abaka. Uh, Abarca. Maureen McCarthy, can I? Can you get the grant if you accepted the PPP? Yes. Um, but how they coordinate with one another, ask your PPP lender. Roy Y, I called several times, and every time they keep on saying, I did not check the box. I know I checked the box. I mean, who cares? You're entitled to the grant. If you ask for the grant, you're entitled to the grant. Wealth Connect, <laughs> Rich Nostro, we, who also supported this channel. Thank you, Rich. Uh, Hey, LA, longtime fan here, as you know, and I follow you as much as I can. I have a question. I'm an independent contractor, 1099, taxes up to date, five DO, DEO on 401, got denial on 64. Says I have to start completely over and file out a PUA, but here in Florida, the system keeps crashing. I'm going through the same mess of PPP loans and SBA in the garbage. Offer me a very low loan amount. Um, when asked if I can negotiate a higher loan amount, they told me I have to send the form, which you and I and both your listeners know that's going to post things probably for another 60 days. What are your thoughts on hiring a local attorney? I've written to my local senator. Um, I left you a donation with the way. By the way, you can call your book. Here's the rub on the economic bombshells. Okay, so a lot of stuff there. Florida. I think you said you're Florida. Yeah, so you're Florida PUA. Um, so viewers out of, uh, out of Florida have said that for PUA, you have to do two UI denials before you get a PUA approval. Um, of the viewers of this channel, I've only had one that has gotten Florida PUA. Uh, uh, if you're having problems with Florida PUA, I would work the phone lines and backdoor it through like, a, you know, if they have another department to get them on the line and then escalate you in through a front door if they're not answering the phone numbers. You know what I mean? Is just like get another department and get them trans get you transferred over. Now, as to uh, EID alone negotiation for an increase. Uh, there are three ways you can negotiate for an increase. One, you can send it, uh, you can tell the SBA officer. Two, you can send it in the portal where the loan offer is sitting on the right side. Three, you can reply to the email that actually sent the loan portal uh, uh, site to you. Finally, some viewers are being told that they have to do all this crazy documentation to negotiate a higher loan amount. It's simply not true. Um, it just, it, it's at, it's the person you got on the phone. I would just keep on calling back to you, get someone on the phone. They can note it on the file. You know, the way you could do it is to say, I want to ask for a loan officer. I did this with, um, uh, with Wuhan, uh, who asked me this question in live chat a few days ago. You can say, I want to make a note. I want to talk to the loan officer. Why do you want to talk to the loan officer? Because I want to increase my loan offer. Well, I can make a note on the file and send it to him. Okay. That, that's how you get it done. It's like if they don't want to give you the loan, if you, you ask for the loan officer, then they say, I don't want to give you the loan officer. So, okay, well, why do you need the loan officer? Because I want to increase the loan amount. Okay, I can, I can make a note on the file. Um, don't accept the loan offer unless, uh, until, while that's pending, you have 30 days to do this. Sharon Clifford, can you get the grant alone and collect a PUA? Yes. Uh, Lupe Lopez, hey, LA, uh, April 2nd, zero loan offer in the portal. Technical error. Um, I've not received a denial. That's a technical error. You need to call SBA right away. Uh, they've sent my application to escalation department, but not anything. No, a zero loan offer is a technical error. There's nothing to escalate. They know that. <laughs> There's a, click that link in the video. Um, it's the video that has a, a computer in the screen of the thumbnail. Jeff Ward, uh, in for the grant 11, April 11, got a letter for denial for the loan which I never asked for, received no grant, the reconsideration, got a response the same day saying that they've noted information will be processing, process in order it is received. Today is June 7th. Love your channel. Jeff Ward, Jesus Lives, is on YouTube. I have a gospel record uh, company studio. Well, wonderful, Jeff Ward. Um, you need to send them another letter and to the reconsideration department and say, I never see my my grant. I'm entitled to my grant. I requested the grant. Please send me my, the, the link to my grant money. Um, Merchant Man, how about the ones that only got $1,000 and denied due to credit? Will they still get the $10,000 grant now? Not now, but if you watch the bombshell about eight 
four minutes earlier. You know maybe when. Iris, uh, I love this channel. Thank you, Iris. Love your name. Trey Trey. Hey, Ellen. It's Trey Trey from Miami. Hello, Trey Trey from Miami. This is Lele in LA. Uh, still a longtime listener and fan. Please keep the good work up. Thank you. RS agreed to EIDL 49,000. Haven't signed. After doing some research, I'd like to lower the amount of 25,000. Do you think the SBA will allow me to lower the amount since I haven't signed yet? I guess you're a new viewer to this channel. Uh, yes, you can lower it to $25,000. Drop in the, uh, click on the links above. We do a whole thing about um, EIDL terms and conditions. You should only accept $25,000 or less because it's uncollateralized, unless you love to be collateralized. Sharon, great channel. Thank you. Samuel Lombardo, please ask the banker respond. Please ask your banker and respond. But my conversations with BOA was that I can reduce the amount of the, owed by the SBA to the PPP loan. Oh, my God. I'm not doing another PPP EIDL question. <laughs> Uh, JR Led <laughs> spoke to SBA was advised not sure why my account was not removed since 529 my credit was checked twice. Call Congress, I haven't heard anything back. I don't know what that means. Um, Robert Bissell, so SBA denied me and said I have not encountered an economic ex disaster. Can you explain? Yes, you need to do a reconsideration. A lot of viewers of this channel, there are different reasons why SBA denies loans. Low credit score, uh, unable to verify identity, which is the easiest one to beat, uh, or um, bad character, which is also a subject of a video we did, and I'll drop in the links above, uh, where someone was denied based upon criminal history, but he won. And finally, I, uh, uh, unable to substantiate economic injury or the grant that you receive, which you actually never received, is higher than the economic injury you suffered. That's generally a denial that's been sent to all real estate people that view this channel. Horrible. Um, they're basically saying you're not economically impacted by the disaster. File reconsideration if you are. Um, what they're doing with real estate is they're categorically denying you based upon the the type of business you are with that line. In some of the cases, they're saying that um, you know uh, you haven't suffered an economic injury. If you can prove it, go ready to go and 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 get those financial documents ready. John Nato, I haven't received my grant not loan yet. I called three times. Hey man, you have a heart of gold, bless you. So John Doe, you gotta um you need to get that loan decision. So you need to call SBA and say, if, where is my loan acceptance or denial? <laughs> Generally, SBA uh, uh, Tier 2 can see if there's a denial on the screen in front of them. So if they're sort of nice to you, <laughs> then they know you've been approved. If they're pissy to you, then they probably know you're denied. You need to have that processed so you get in the system. But you also need to get your grant. Um, so the lack of processing the loan is a way to really not get you a grant money. You need to get that loan decision, whether it's approval or denial, so you can get the grant money. Linda Lee, love your channel. Well, thank you, Linda Lee. Nate and two, April uh, April 8th Vortex. Wow. We see your portal invite, only $7,000 offer. I accepted immediately, even though I have liked more. Should negotiate for more. We had a viewer who got $7,000. He got, was offered $150,000. I can't, can you imagine? For those curious, I'm an Uber driver. My credit was pulled 521. I really hope I get the 7000 You never know what direction my SBA might take each day. Shout out to LA. I really, you have really helped with invaluable info during this difficult time. Thank you. Well, thank you, Nate N2. Really appreciate it. Arario Soto, bombshell lover. Well, thank you, Soto. Um, Shanna's, Shanna's Enlightenment. SBA's on some ball. Um, it's just crazy when they really know they were supposed to give you the $10,000. Yes. So a lot of shocking details today. Please watch the EIDL loan video where they went live at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It details more of the problems at our hand and how you can get money, money, grant money that is owed to you. Uh, as always, stay up LA for more.